Today, we're going to recreate this light animation from Mesh Animations, but instead of a light motion, we're going to do it in CapCut. Start a new project and place a black background on the main layer. I'm going to place the original video on a new layer for reference. Let's trim it down and extract the audio from it. Adjust the size of the black background to the video length. So this is the original animation. Add a new text layer and change the text to light. Choose a bolder font, then resize it, adjust its position and change its color to black. Click the stroke property, change the color to yellow, and reduce the thickness of the border. Change its opacity to 50% to see the original animation. Increase the text layer's size to match the animation's length. Search for the first animation within the original text where it changes colors. Cut the text layer with the Ctrl plus B keys. Change the text of the highlighted letter T and change its color to yellow. You can also add glow to it. Move the letter T layer up, increase the light text layer's length and match the position of the letter T layer to the light text layer's position. Hide the original animation layer and zoom in on the preview window for better results. Enable the original animation layer and search for the next letter to change. Cut the letter layer, change it to G, then adjust its position as before. Do this with all the other letters until they all light up simultaneously. Delete the letter layer and copy the light text layer to its place. Change its color to yellow, uncheck the stroke property and add a glow to it. Delete the light text layer from under the letter layer and rearrange its position. Select the yellow light text at the end, add keyframes to the glow property so that it glows up, then fades out, and add keyframes to the opacity property and change it from 100 to 0%. Select all text layers and change back the opacity to 100%. Do a quick check, then move on to the ball animation. Add a new text layer and use the windows plus dot keys and select the circle shaped special character. Change its size and position and add a bit of glow to it. Go to the beginning of the animation and copy the movement of the circle from the original animation by placing keyframes on the position values. After this, select the Show Keyframe Animation menu and use the Ease In 1 and Ease Out 1 setting to create a smooth bouncing effect. Now let's create this flickering effect by changing the opacity from 100 to 50%, then back to 100. Copy these keyframes and paste them with a ball on the original animation flickers. At the end, change the last keyframe's opacity value to 0% to hide the ball. I don't like that the sound of the flickering is off from the keyframes, so I'm going to offset some of the keyframes by a few frames. Once done, we can start working on the light animation. Add a new text layer and a triangle symbol as before. Change it to yellow, uncheck the uniform scale and change its width and add a glow to it. Adjust it to the yellow circle, but to avoid placing a lot of keyframes, do this trick instead. Add a new text layer with a circle symbol to the center of the screen. Adjust the position of the light triangle to the center of this circle. Rotate it by minus 90 degrees, then create a compound clip from it. Delete the extra circle text layer and move the light layer back to the center of the original yellow circle. Zoom out, adjust the size and rotation of the yellow triangle and change the opacity to about 50%. Place a keyframe on the transform property at the first frame, then copy the movement and change the rotation as in the original video. Hmm, the compound clip is not long enough because I forgot to extend the length of the original image. So, freeze the first frame of the compound clip and because you can't copy the keyframes from the compound clip, 
you have to start all over. This is why I always say, if the compound clip can be replaced with just an image, then always freeze it and use the image instead to avoid things like this. So, delete the compound clip, extend the light image layer, and start adding keyframes as before. At the last keyframe, cut the layer and use the horizontal mask to hide it. Place the light layer under the yellow circle. Let's see what we got. Duplicate the light text layer and change its color to red. Duplicate the black image layer and adjust the length of both layers where the light animation ends. Select the text in the black image layers and create a compound clip from them. Then use the chroma key to hide the red parts of the text. Duplicate the light layer, move it under this new layer, and change back the value of the opacity property to 100%. To make this animation better, let's add a bouncing effect on the first letter. Cut out from the light text layer the part where the ball touches the letter L. Duplicate it, change the first one to the letter L and the other to the rest of the word light. Adjust the position of both layers to match the position of the original layer. Select the letter L layer, uncheck the uniform scale property and change its height. Adjust the position of the letter to the bottom and the position of the yellow circle to reach the new top of the letter L. Duplicate these steps on the second rebounds as well. Adjust the size and position values until you're satisfied with the result. You can even deform the shape of the yellow circle at the impact and add a blur effect at the end. And here is the final result, 